I'm going to show you how to bring your university's brand to a classroom team. Well, I've set up my team here for Eng 101 Engineering Mechanics, but it's looking a little bit generic. I do have one thing though, which is my PowerPoint deck. My university's branding team have provided me with a really nice template here at Quantoso University, and I've pulled out a few of the design elements in order to make two simple graphics. The first is going to be my team logo. I'm going to grab Quantoso University, put it here, and grab the text. I've used my university's font, Sago UI, and I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool here and pick Quantoso Blue. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select all, right click, go save as picture, and it's going to be a logo. The second graphic I'm going to make is a SharePoint banner. I'm going to get my weekly topic diagram here from the front page. I've shrunk it down a bit. And then this box here, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool again. I'm going to pick the lighter blue. That looks pretty good. I might save this one a different way. I'm going to go Windows Shift S and use the snipping tool. I'm pulling a snipping box over this and then I can grab my snip here, go save as banner. Looks good. Now let's go back to our team. Well, I've made this really nice SharePoint page here for week one to do. And you know what? It doesn't really have any branding at all. I'm gonna hit this little glow button to go over to the SharePoint website. And I'm gonna edit my SharePoint page in the top right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is this title. If I hover over here, I can change the image. And I actually have the option to upload an image from my desktop. There's my banner, looks good. I'm gonna add that image and I'm gonna move the focal point over to my diagram right here. That looks pretty good to me. All right, let's update that. The next thing that I'm going to do is actually change the look of my entire SharePoint page. I'm gonna hit the gear up here and go change the look. There's an option here for theme. We've got a whole bunch of different themes that should fit any university. But I'm going to pick this dark blue one here down the bottom. That looks good to me. Now I can customize within this theme, but actually that looks pretty nice to me. The next thing I might do is go in and do something about this poll. This is a forms poll. And you can see here that if I select it, I can hit edit and I can go back to the current form over here in Microsoft Forms. My poll looks all right here, but again, it's a bit generic. If I click here, I can add an image and I'm going to upload. And this is the logo that we just created. That looks pretty nice to me. Perfect. Now let's choose a theme. Okay, we could choose an image, but I'm going to choose that blue there. That looks pretty good to me. Now let's go back over to our classroom team. I'm going to update the SharePoint page and see what it looks like. Wow, that's heaps better. The next thing I'm going to do is change my side icon. I've got these gears that are pretty cool, but I want to use my custom logo. I'm going to scroll up to the top, click Upload, and choose the logo that I created from PowerPoint. Let's update that. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go into week one now to the announcement that I did. Now I'm actually going to edit this post. I'm going to go to the banner here, and instead of this generic color, I'm going to click Upload an Image. I'm going to use that same banner that I've used for SharePoint. I think it's going to work pretty well. Yep, that looks awesome. Now there's a tab here called Notes. This is the class notebook, and it's where I'm going to solve work examples during the lectures. I actually grabbed the problem here from the lecture slide. I just cut and pasted it straight into the class notebook. I changed the heading to Sago UI and the color to Contoso Blue. And during the lecture, while I'm solving this problem, I might actually ink it using some of my university's colors. This is really easy to do, and again, helps us maintain that brand and consistent look for the university. So we're pretty much done. Let's review. We've got our team icon, custom made. We've got our class notebook here with elements out of our slides. In posts here, I've got this banner that I'm using for my weekly announcements. Over here, I've got my lecture slides pinned, and they look really nice. That poll that I made, I'm actually pinning it as a tab in Teams, and we can see here it looks really good. The last thing is I have my SharePoint page. We did quite a lot of work to this, and it looks really good. I've got one final step, 
Let's check how this looks in dark mode. I'm going to click my avatar, settings, dark. You know, I think that looks even better. Today, I've shown you how to bring your brand to Teams.